All right. Welcome, everyone, to the SVK Media Network. Uh, you know what? Today is social media recipes. This is generic, by the way. Social media recipes versus food service. And we have these two amazing rock stars on the show today. Uh, uh, from, from, I don't know, are you guys, Richard, whereabouts are you guys located? Yeah, I always forget this. We're broadcasting live from Wasaga Beach, Ontario. Wasaga Beach. Wasaga Beach. So cool. So welcome again, both both of you, Richard, Caleb. Welcome to the show. There we go. We got stream on. There we go. Boom, just like that. Boom. Here we are. Here we are. Here, here we, we are. Here we are. All right, everybody. So, you know, t- what are we doing today? What are you guys doing? What, are we what doing? the heck okay. is, is that? I, I love don't even these. know if oh we can God. describe what we're doing because you uh, you did it, but we we'll did. describe we'll describe a bit of what we're doing. Okay. So as you know, I'm Richard from Lester's. This is Caleb from Ruben, and we are doing social media recipes. We can't call it TikTok recipes anymore because that's not politically correct. You can't um, use the word TikTok, Richard. TikTok Don't TikTok. use the word TikTok. But we changed the format. <laughs> we changed the name. We changed the format. Jay, our wonderful producer, the man behind yes. the camera, in front of the microphone, on top of the chair, he sent us the challenge this week. And we're yes. looking forward to it. So we're doing Korean street food and we're doing Mexican chicken lollipops. Mexican, Mexican chicken. chicken lollipops. It's gonna be fun. I don't know if you guys are gonna pull it off though. I don't know. You know what? I, we still don't know either. So I actually <laughs> went, I went on the uh, TikTok and I was looking up variants of the challenge that you sent me. And there was this one. There was this one woman from like down south somewhere, and she's got her like her like Korean street food, and she's like, "Okay, here we go." And she goes and bites into it, and it's supposed to have this like big cheese draw out. It's supposed to be this like thing, right? It's like the format for this video, and uh, and it does nothing. And in fact, the cheese just kind of flops out. And she's like, "Well, that's a fail." And then she she left it. She broadcasted it. It was fantastic. So hopefully, it hopefully, might happen. Hopefully, the cheese doesn't hit the board today. <laughs> well, you know what? I think you guys are stronger than tick the company tick talky stuff. With hit us with some good challenges this week. That's good. So it's B yeah. Reels, it's Reels, it's Facebook video, it's it's anything and Facebook everything. Stories, YouTube Instagram stuff. Stories, I don't know. Instagram. Did you guys yeah. under? Did you guys now? First of all, Caleb, because you're the chicken guy. Yeah. Was it was it hard to to really do? Because it's a pretty basic thing here. It wasn't what? basic, and it was also not in a language <laughs> I speak. <laughs> and I have so to, when we watch the you video, you understand what I mean. <laughs> I, I, love it. I love it because the last challenge, do you remember the last challenge? <laughs> one? He had to debone like a, a chicken wing, and he yes. was in here like cursing, throwing stuff at his I know, I know, like, I know. It doesn't work. <laughs> in the video, they just pulled the ball I love out, the like, fact that they were in different languages. That's the yeah. best part. And you yeah, I, I did. Again. Yeah, I got the easy one. This is fantastic. I love it, dude. I love it. All right. So we're going to, we're going to break for a quick commercial and then Richard, you're on deck. All right. So we're going to break for our sponsors. Our sponsors are not Jack Daniels, that little thing in your coffee cup. Yeah. Exactly. We're not sponsored by them. Not at all. There we go. All right. We're going to be back folks after, I hope you you guys are looking like you had a lot of fun there on a Friday. We're always having fun on a Friday. (laughs) We got to talk about one of those aprons you got to send this way too. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, seventeen ninety like... nine plus shipping and handling. Is, is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> swag store. We'll put the link to Richard's swag store below. All right. We'll be right back after this message. Here we go. It's not about turning on the lights, starting the grill, and prepping the food. You put on an apron, flip the open sign, and ready for the day. Regulars sit at the same spot and tell stories that bring smiles. Some days can be chaos, challenging. You persevere because you have an undaunted passion, a calling to make people feel welcome and warm. Guests come and go, some you may never see again. The restaurant business is heaven and hell. It's laughter and tears, forever changing and extremely challenging. When the day is done, feeling exhausted, yet somehow content, you smile, knowing tomorrow you get to do it all again. And you wouldn't change a thing. There you go. Just cut off like this. I, I got to put a shout out to Scott Moore that uh, I th- was probably watching that. Scott 
We love you at Stir Communications. You guys are one of the best when it comes to marketing and helping restaurants. So we're going to do that commercial for the next bazillion months. We have it. And uh, he's got some great things. And I challenged him today to get out there with a camera. He's going to be killing me. And to do some video clips of all the great things that he can do for restaurants. So big shout out to Scott. And uh, Richard, do you, wanna, do you want me to play the video? Well, let's start. Let's let's do you remind play the video? viewers at home and on the toilet in the bathroom in the in the kitchen. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, you changed the format today, and you challenged us. You found these videos. You sent them to us. So why don't you show them the video you found? Oh, look at that. Hey, uh, just okay. Here we go. So we got to make sure that you can hear the volume because we right. don't want to. You got to hear. You got to hear. You got to hear the fact that this is, I think, in a different language, right? Here we go. So. These are really big up here, though. Up where oh, I live, this is, this is, these are big. It's, it's a massive industry. It's huge. It's huge, yeah. right? Right? And nothing goes better in these than a Lester's hot dog, right? Oh, I, I can't agree with you more. See? I know how to play the game. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Was there no audio? I don't know. Well, I have audio of me. That might just not be on my end. Okay. I so don't know if you know. The well, what? What? They're taking the cheese, right? They're taking the hot dogs, wrapping them in like Pillsbury, Pillsbury, whatever. And then they're shallow frying it. And, you know, for shallow frying, it's a remarkably good job. Look at that. There's no way they, there's no way that that was the original one, but whatever. That's an elevated hot dog. And that's sugar. So, that's like, oh, he's that that's sugar. Um, You've got uh, some buffering issues. Uh, the, 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 the U.S. government has, has put you on pause. That's sugar. And then you got some schmutz and some more schmutz. And watch. What? Oh, there you go. Oh, you, I think that video, like, you pulled it in the cheese, like, did the whole, you know, well, like. We all know what that looks like, Richard. We all know that. The cheese, we like, all know what that is. Nothing, nothing does that better, though, than a Lester's hot dog. All right, so that's the problem. That was the problem in that video. Well, I can un, unofficially, unofficial, that's my word, because my boss is probably watching, and he is an actual lawyer, and he would definitely, uh, he would definitely need me to say that without prejudice. Um, the, the hot dog that goes inside an actual pogo may or may not be manufactured by Lester's in Montreal. So if you want I hate a high-quality, uh, yeah, I highly yeah. suggest your your supermarket aisle, the frozen aisle, and get a pogo. Um, but you're right. And this this Korean hot dog industry is huge. It, like pogos, corn dogs, whatever you want to call them, this is huge. Yeah. This is carnivals, this is events. You go up north, like in Sudbury, or sorry, sorry, north of North Bay into Sturgeon Falls, go to the Riv, you know, they make oh, the corn riff. dogs, right? So, and the corn dog is just, you know, corn batter and, and a hot dog and deep fried on a skewer. Now, but the Korean version of it has cheese on the end. Okay, and when you get like a combo pack, they want ones that are just cheese. Think of like a cheese stick on a stick. It's a cheese stick stick. I just made a new term. Pretty much anything in cornmeal is going to be excellent. It's going to be very yes, good. I was deep, say, you deep, yeah. fry, deep fry anything. It's good. You deep fry my sneaker. It's going to be. Excellent. I was going to say. I think we could do a shoe. <laughs> um, so what they've done is so they put the cheese on the end, and then they put the hot dog back here, then the batter, and we're going to do this all live, uh, like uh, live and unscripted here on on on, on SDK Network. Caleb, um, let's just get Caleb's rating here. What do you think the chances of Richard pulling this off is? An 80, 90, 50? I'm going to go 40? 70 because the oil's a bit hot. 70. 70. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a little, I, I, I turned up the oil to do something <laughs> earlier and I forgot to turn it down. No, <laughs> no, no. So um, he had one job. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say the chef that did pogos once on my show that burnt them, David. Uh, but <laughs> exactly. We will talk about that. You we don't go there. The okay. So <laughs> the video. No, he didn't make it from scratch. There were the other the ones. Video, the video was fun. I, I'm not going to recreate that because it's not authentic. Um, that video shows them using like a puff pastry wrapped around thing. And then yeah. That, yeah. And there's that, We that, know restaurants ain't going to do that, Richard. Not we know true. that. The, no. the, the yield loss on that, the cost, the time. No, no. So a batter. Now, a batter is typically just equal parts cornmeal and flour, egg, milk, and baking soda and sugar. Now, a real smart chef would figure out that dairy and sugar 
can be replaced with like condensed milk or something like that. Monk fruit, me. monk fruit. So you can you can mess around with this. Now I didn't. I kept it old school just because I don't have time to like test out a million different recipes to make sure it works. But I know that if you go to like the rip or something like that, you know they got this stuff perfected after generations of making the best pogos ever with less hot dogs inside. Okay, so <laughs> shameless plugs, eh? It's I know, terrible. Eh? Terrible. Is that Lester's hot dog right there? Lester's all beef. I used the all beef because, oh. That is good. one good looking hot dog before it's, it's even cooked. Good. And then on top, I got a big old chunk of really high fat, like a 28%. Hey, Richard, why? what makes a Lester hot dog better than any other hot dog out there? You know, I hate to, like, without sounding gross, but, like, we don't <laughs> harvest anything. No, so, not, nothing weird goes in them. We're not shoveling stuff in there. So, like, if you like, if you go to like the manufacturers of of uh, some high quality hamburgers, uh, they're buying the same meat products that we are. They're buying a, a thing called sixty five percent trim, and and we're making hot dogs from that. So there's nothing weird in here. It's a consistent recipe. It's made with high quality cuts and everything like that. Okay. Do so, you guys put like seasoning in there, or is it is there seasoning in your hot dogs? In a hot dog, yeah. Oh yeah, this is this spice oh. for sure, and that's what makes. Yeah. And, and the spices are what's very... What's that? Whoa, whoa, what's that? What's hey, 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 stop. This is going to get you trippy here. Oh, I'm going to Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Our, our other, somebody who else didn't sponsor us, Cheetos, Flaming Cheetos, okay? I'm not just going to do a regular corn dog with cheese in it. Come on, man. Jeez, you're really going up. I, I think you're going to beat... The TikTok corn. You know what we're gonna do, Richard, today? Because I did meet with our editor. We're gonna make some short TikToks for you off of today's show. Well, that that's wonderful. I would like you to do my twelve days of sandwich, but anyway, we'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. So, we're, we're, we got that warmed up for next Christmas. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's <laughs> He might still be making the corn dog then. Exactly. <laughs> corn dog is never gonna get made. Okay, so I I, I pureed some Cheetos. Oh. Oh That's my like god. The whitest chef jacket, by the way, I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 70%, hey, Caleb? I would have went 50 on them. I don't know. Oh my god, this is amazing. I can't believe that actually worked. I haven't done this yet, so I'm really excited right now. No, I'm I'm actually pretty I'm pretty impressed you're actually going on the challenge, Richard. Oh, I, I took the, I take these challenges very seriously. I spend hours on TikTok on company time. <laughs> and I do it authentically. Like I go to the bathroom, so, I sit on the toilet, yeah, did, did, bring out my phone. Wait, what what crazy video did Jay send this time? Oh my god! I'm telling you, you can't see the pot because we only have one camera. We're on a budget no. around here. We've only got two sponsors, <laughs> Lester's and Ruben, and they haven't given us any money. Um, <laughs> so. But I'm telling you right now, this is supposed to end the videos and the yes. other videos that you didn't send me, the ones that I researched. Um, like a pogo looks like this, folks. For everybody at home, look at that. A pogo, you go to the Riv. Yeah. You get a nice pogo looks like this. They put it in a real nice little thing like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little right. mustard. A little and then mustard. you put your, your, you put your zhinge on the top. Yeah. So, stuff. so that's, what, that's what she looks like on a normal day. But wait till you see what these guys look like. But Richard, you know what? I still love the corn dog once in a while. Oh my god, I love this. I actually, actually, I, 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 <laughs> hey Richard, yes, you know, a lot of people think that sometimes <laughs> people don't watch our shows, but I, I think the other company's watching us right now. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I tell you, I people come up you to know me what? all the time when I'm out and they're like, if I have to watch another one, I think they're joking, but they're like, I and I'm like, and they're from other companies, so I, I know that we're, we're garnering attention here, okay. <laughs> This is starting to look good. Now, the trick is, is to get the temperature and everything just right so that cheese does the, you know, the you know, ooey gooey thing, you know? I think that was the second one. I think the first one. Yeah, the first one on the front. Like, you got to look. Look at this. Like, it's red. Is it, Wait, seriously? What's it smell like? What's it smell like? Minus the oil. It smells like fire. Oil. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb went in for the sniff test. 375 degree oil. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, everybody, for coming to our show today where you're learning very valuable entertainment information. Yeah, yeah. It smells like burning. <laughs> okay, it smells so like anyway. burning. Okay, so now, now I got Caleb's sample on the back. Here. That'll be my lunch after this. Okay, so once you make them up, it's all about the sauce now. And now for a show. Yeah, you, know you know what? Just wait, just wait a second, yeah. Richard. 
I think we have to have Caleb taste yours and you taste Caleb's and ta Caleb is going to rate your corn dog today. Perfect. Can we let it cool down a bit? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Isn't sure it's paid up? So <laughs> we now. Sure it's paid up. So you're going to burn your face off. Burn yeah. face off. I can feel my face. Okay. So, <laughs> a little shout out to our friends over at Lynch's for giving us this crunchy mustard. You know what? Lynch makes the best sauces out there, by the way, too. I can't I can't confirm nor deny what you're saying there, but I only use Lynch's. Okay. So I love this crunchy mustard. I woke up this stuff. morning and used Lynch's. Oh, In your nice. coffee? <laughs> <laughs> what did you use it in? Your oatmeal? <laughs> Syrup. Come on, man. They make the best syrup. Oh, okay, they make syrup. There you go. There and you go. then this is Saucy Pete's Spicy Dill. Ah, Saucy Another Pete. Another non-sponsor of the show. If anybody wants to sponsor us, please get in touch with me at richardwhite.ca. Exactly. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is how they do it. Caleb, so what do you... You're going to go on on this. What do you think you're going to rate this Cheeto cheese? It's a Cheeto cheese dog, almost. I'm going to say... Cheeto cheese corn Just dog. one bite, but uh, we'll, we'll make a decision here. Okay, so like for folks at home and on the toilet, um, <laughs> here we have three perfect examples of what you should get when you're looking at corn dogs. Now the first one, now this is like, this is a classic. This is everywhere you go. But these guys, this is Pogo 2.0 or Korean and elevated. Korean With dog. the best hot dog in the business, Lester's Hot Dogs. Everybody, I am not. I am everybody not. knows the rules. Just one bite. It's one bite. One bite. Just All right, I'm going in. One bite. Ooh, we go. Oh. We did it. We did it. Yes. Richard, you did it. That's cool, did dude. It nine two. Nine two. You threw a nine two out just like that, Caleb. Excellent. That's spectacular. Richard, what did you give yourself? Nine two. Higher or lower? Nine and a half. I'm telling you right now. This is all that with the bag of chips. That was fantastic. I in the bag of chips. This is going to go down as like one of the very best things I've ever made on this show. Seriously? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Well, Seriously, I would eat here again. I would you'd eat, eat, you'd, you'd go, but you come back. Yeah. <laughs> that was insanely good. Well, off I camera, think I, there will definitely I, I, be a beer and the rest of that going down for sure. I look forward to it. I, look I like to the it. fact that you went and used Cheetos. Yeah, this so again, I I did I did the research. I went to the yeah. bathroom. I sat on the throne and scrolled endlessly until I couldn't feel my feet. And I came across this <laughs> one place. We've all done it. <laughs> We've <laughs> all done it. We all have it. We all, we all have it. We all have it. We all have it. Husband limp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw this one, and the guy was doing a test of it, and. He picked the red one first, I, and he doesn't say what it is until he's biting into it. And he just he just happens to say Cheetos. So when I was in the store, I found the red ones. They're flavored. You know, you know what we used to do, Richard, back in the day. One of my chefs used to use the Hawkins cheese cheesies. Oh, yeah, those are, oh, those are the best ones. Yeah, those are great. And then he breaded chicken breasts with them. Yeah, for sure. Or and we did chicken fingers. We did chicken fingers with them, and then we used that brand in the menu description of what it was, right? It's like a Hawkins or something. I forget what the name is. Hawkins or exactly, but chicken. The jalapeno Cheetos are excellent too as a garnish. Gives it a bit ah, of Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let's break for our next commercial here. Yeah, quick. get ready for Caleb. Uh, yeah, I want to say, you threw us another curveball, Caleb. Talk about the yes. foil. Where, where do you find no, foil? We'll talk about it. Yeah. Okay, we'll we're going to break. We're going to break and then we're going to come back. You guys grab another drink <laughs> and... and those are the best hot dogs, by the way. I just keep, I, mean, I can't bring it up. Hey, Richard, is that a picture of one right behind Caleb on your counter? That's, That's actually a picture of it in a yeah. bun with mustard. You know how most people above their fireplace have like a picture of their family? <laughs> Here in Osega Beach, Richard has a picture of a hot dog. It's <laughs> the core. Like our marketing department is so good, I hang it on the wall at home. That is a great picture. Thank you. You can also get that on the Richard. White swag yeah, store. Visit yeah. me for one. Go to my swag merch shop. Store. It's on the merch shop. <laughs> All right. Quick commercial. Be right back. Yeah. Oh!
Been through a whole lot, but we overcome. Enemies in our face, but we ain't gon' run. Never drift off course, always stay on mission. Won't slow us down, cause we way too driven. Yet we put in these 10,000 hours. You won't stop us, cause we got the power. Whole world is watching, and I hope they ready. From here on out, we a legendary. We All right, we're back, folks. SVK Network. You know what? This Caleb, I'm excited to see this because there's some culinary skill here. Not saying that wasn't before, but there's some major culinary skill here. I feel like you always give me the tough ones, and that needs to change. We're gonna have to discuss this. (laughs) This Thank you for that, by the way. (laughs) Is this what it? (laughs) All right, you guys. Did you have music the last time? The the sound. No. I did. We didn't have sound last. I mean, it's very faint. We're not. We're not. Uh, we're not the, the end product here. We're just back. We're in the studio. Okay. Right? Well, let's see if we can get sound this one because it was blasting in my ear. If it makes you happy. So let me just make sure here. All right. You may or may get sound on this. I'm not 100. Notice sure. the subtitles. Exactly. <laughs> just explain what's actually going on. Four translating <laughs> apps later, we finally got it. <laughs> it, that, it says right there. It's, it actually translates. It says, "Don't do this." Yeah, yeah. Go try this at home. Go try this at home, okay. All right. All right, here we go. I feel like there's no music, but I could be wrong anyways. Look at that. Look how many steps. Look how many moves. Look at this. Oh, magical. This guy's good skills. He browned it. You didn't brown you. You you didn't follow the recipe. <laughs> you didn't understand the assignment. <laughs> I took my next level. But like seriously, I want to talk about content creating, and I really do support TikTok for this. The content creation here is crazy. Like, look at this video. The quality here is amazing. Look at that. Like that's. It looks like it. Like, like it. It's the same filming as you would probably use for like luxury goods, like a Louis Vuitton gold capped chicken bone. That's what that is. It's Louis Vuitton. Wow. That's a brilliant. That's brilliant. Gentlemen. Next level. So Caleb, if if you pull this off, like if I had a crown of the best cooking demo for the SDK. (laughs) So I, I did exactly as the video once translated. So took a chicken wing. Just now, the are, are these Reuven chicken wings? These chicken are just a, raw chicken wing, a raw chicken wing. Plug out oh. to a, a restaurant in Collingwood where I got them from. Uh, Beaver okay. Bulldog. Oh yeah, they go through a ton of raw, uh, and they're large. So I went and grabbed a, a wing from them. But you can pretty much use any wing. Ours will work. And now that I think of it, I should have used one of our fully cooked Reuven wings because the meat would have pulled off a lot quicker. Oh yeah. That's so cool. although I didn't brown it, I did it from the raw state. Okay. Well, you, yeah. you lived up to the to the to the video. I, you know, I had to follow this assignment. <laughs> <laughs> so, mashed potato in the okay. bowl. Just is regular it, mash. Is, did you make that from scratch, or is that a powder? No, that was from scratch. Wow. Here's a it's a red skin mash too. Um, here is the chicken I took off the the drum bones after I basically boiled them, made a stock, and then pulled it all off. Yeah. Hit it inside. I fire roasted some shishito peppers. That's delicious. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What kind of pepper? Yeah, yeah. Shishito. Let's talk, talk about this. Yeah, tell me about that. At a grocery store near you. They're called zingers. They're they're fantastic. And you and you pour them up like that, and you serve them like with cheese dishes, with tomato dishes, like chefs. You, just, you can serve them like that, Richard. Like you just dip them in the dip after you roast them. So a lot of people just do it on an open flame, barbecue, anything, char it up to give it a kind of that, like you're going to roast a red pepper. Excellent flavor. What I will say is you could buy a bag of them and there's one of them in there that's going to kick you in the face. It's like Russian roulette and you don't know what no one way. is. Seriously? The best thing Mild, to do to your guests. And then boom. <laughs> but no, it's really good. Like if you're if you're serving like a, some sort of a dip or even a, a bruschetta or sort of bruschetta yeah. or anything like that, you know what? Fire these up. Chop them up and sprinkle them on it as a garnish at the end. And I'm telling you, it will add so much level to what you're doing and bring you into the modern world. Anyways, 
enough about the yeah so it's just it adds like a nice smoky spicy kind of subtle hint to the recipe so i elevated it with that some shredded cheddar cheese that's spicy so it has some jalapeno in it okay. chopped cilantro from the garden to keep it kind of say, is that from your is that from your garden richard was i had to dig it up and then you just mix it all up in the bowl seasoning no you don't need no, it richard richard what's your what's your percentage on caleb pulling this off uh he went 70 on you buddy as much as i would love to smack talk caleb in this moment he's actually <laughs> one of the better corporate chefs out there so i'm gonna give him a 110 chance this guy is he does it all the time so there you go there's your ball Seriously? Fast forward. A little bit of movie magic here. Look at that. So I formed Are you kidding me? Drums in it. He had put so the, gold foil on his. Uh, we're on a budget here. So, so, so hey, you know what? This is uh, this is silver. Silver is just as good. No, no, gold, buddy. So it's the wrapper for a baked potato. We Shut bought, up. That's what we did. We bought baked potatoes that were wrapped at the store. No <laughs> way, no way, no way. <laughs> I'm sending you the bill. <laughs> you only five bucks. That's, so can, that's awesome. You can use any kind of foil. You don't even need to put foil on the end. It just kind of adds that kind of elegant Zing. look to it. Yeah. And then we have uh, the flaming hot. We're gonna add right in our cornmeal batter. Look at that. So we'll use some batter here. Now, Caleb. Now back to this whole thing. I want to talk about this pre-cooked or cooked chicken wing. You said it would pull off. Do you think it'd be also just safer too? Because there's so much batter and potato around the chicken yeah i mean it would, so essentially what you're doing from the recipe that you presented to me is you have to cook the chicken to get it off the bone to clean the bone you yeah just pull the cooked chicken off and you're just chopping it up oh and- oh so they're not doing a lollipop they're just pulling it right off they're, yeah so they're cleaning the bone right off oh and then you put the so here is essentially what you're doing is you're just putting it inside oh uh, hey you know what richard we should we gotta we gotta we gotta patent that Let's just sell chicken bones. Like, well, we'll talk about it after you send me five dollars for making the time gold foil. That's, 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 that let's do it. Yeah, you know, I, I, I definitely think that the, the, the deconstructed recipe. We need to thin this. Yeah. All right, let's let's Here, do We're just doing a little quick. Thin oh, on oh, 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 that seventies dropping. Oh, this that's is 70. this is this is live TV here, this folks. This is live. Don't worry, bud. This is this is when you know you can cook is when you improvise like this. Yeah, this is how that's that is how a chef puts ingredients into a bowl when it doesn't work. Just pour it in. Oh yeah. No measuring, no yeah, measuring, measuring cups here. Yeah, no yeah, measuring. Okay, yeah, yeah. People no measuring ask me cups. Time when I'm making dinner at home or whatever and I'm cooking and they're like, "Don't you measure anything?" I'm like, "Yeah, I did. It was that much." <laughs> exactly. okay, so here's our done inside the batter. He's got to make sure it's like a pancake consistency. Mm-hmm. And over to the fryer. Is, it, is that bone sticking then? Is it, did it feel weak or it's all sticking together? Just do the one. Just the one? Okay. Well, maybe, maybe another one. Uh, you got to do two. You got to eat it too, Richard. Well, hang on. Let's go ahead. Okay. Let's go. So in a restaurant, the fryer and everything else would be a little bit easier, quicker. Yeah, we're using a pot. And you can also do these ahead of time. No, but it's cool. I, I think yeah. it's so cool. Yeah. So that, I mean, essentially a very easy thing to do once you get the meat off the bone. The tough part is yeah. getting the chicken off the bone and uh, cleaning the bone off. But elegant looking dish when you want to do it. And then, uh, yeah, I'll put it up here in a second. They don't take too long at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, just taking your cornmeal batter, if you already had a pogo on your menu, you could use the same one. Uh, and I mean, you don't even have to put the, the Cheetos in the batter. It's an option. Nice. And most restaurants already have all these ingredients with like, you know, the exception of shishito peppers. I think everybody would have some sort of chicken. You could use a drumstick. It doesn't have to be a wing. Most people have mashed potatoes, cilantro kicking around in their kitchen. Oh, definitely. This is definitely... Uh... Uh, you know, stuff you already have in your pantry recipe. Um, we, we decided to, or Caleb decided to put the shishito peppers in there just to modernize the recipes a little bit. We were looking at that one and it was just a, 
It just didn't have today's flavor in it. So shishitos are very much an item that's commonly used today. So it's something that uh, brings it into 2023. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh man, this is cool. This is beautiful. It's cool. I'm impressed. Yeah. Look at that. Are you going to drop two on there? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. He's crossing the bones. Oh, look at that. He did it. See, I told you. The guy's got skills. Can I do the thing? Can yeah, I do the you thing? You can do the thing, bud. I stole this from somebody. Are you, you kidding me? You are good, Caleb. That's how you, you do it. Anyway, that's what you asked for. Here we are. Oh, and I get to be the one to try it. All right, so my insurance is paid up. This just came out of the <laughs> 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 I tortured him. Now I'm going to torture Let's get an insurance check before Richard goes in. I just kind of so, you, so Caleb gave you a 9.2. Yeah. Caleb, what do you think you're going to give Caleb? I don't know. I'm going to give Caleb first bite, one bite, one bite. Everybody a, knows a, a 900 degree. <laughs> okay. What's it smell like? First of all, what's all what's right, the aroma see. in the room? Minus the fried. You know what? Like, the the peppers are really what's what's like anchoring yep. that. Because it, yep. it's obviously you know deep fried chicken, right? And mm -hmm, cheese. Mm -hmm. um, but the, there's a nice flavor coming through from the from the pepper uh, that comes through. These peppers are the way to go. If these aren't on your, uh, if this isn't in your order guide right now, folks, add them. Hot. <laughs> and, and Lester's hot dogs. Yeah. And Reuben fully cooked chicken wings. And a Reuben, <laughs> Reuben the plain fully cooked for chicken. This. Okay, so the peppers are, they really add that earthy yeah. Yeah. Know, element to that. It's excellent. Definitely. Can you bring another close up? Can you bring a close up? Am I going to give you like the disgusting? I've already had a bite out of it close up. Well, no, I just want to see what the inside looks like after it's cooked. Yeah, have me busted open here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's almost like a crab cake. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't even yeah. see that actually on film. Uh, but yeah, that's beautiful. That's cool, man. That's cool. Um, yeah, so I would I would definitely give this a 9.1. Um, uh, oh, oh, no, oh, no hesitation. Oh. <laughs> no hesitation. Wow. I always win. <laughs> wow. Usually you, know, you go above what the guy for, beside like, you rated level, you. Though, I think I'm going to take the cake for the skill level. Now, when you, well, yeah, because when you, now you have to throttle it with the, with, the, with the difficulty level. His difficulty level definitely way more than a pogo. Um, so he'll, 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 he'll win today. We, we get into the, and I sat here and watched him <laughs> like seriously deconstruct all these chicken wings. The place is laughing. I went to the freezer. I pulled out a Lester's hot dog, put some cheese on the plate, had a seven up. And then I came back and did this. <laughs> this is no, no challenge at all. So my opinion would be is the Pogo kind of Korean street dog would be easy mm -hmm. to have on a menu. This is going to take some labor. So it's, it's an investment of time to have that item on your menu. That said, yeah, I, I agree. Talk about that because you did say on the menu, and I do feel that, you know, hot dogs are not necessarily on a sit-down restaurant menu. You don't go well, out. Well, well, just wait a second, Richard, because I saw recently on, I forget where it was. And I, my brain's going blank here. But I saw that there was a... Uh, um, one of these is like one of these places that you go on like a halt, like a, like a resort or something like that. But it was a, yeah. it was like a food vacation. Yeah, and they were actually cooking hot dogs as one of the main dishes because of the comfort food connection to it yeah. for their guests that were spending big money on on this experience. Yeah, I, I can imagine that there are restaurants out there like yeah. that probably has a hot dog on the menu. Like, I'm not, I shouldn't say you don't, but like, it's not common. But I think if you did what we did here earlier, yeah. if you elevate the gate by putting the cheese on there, putting a piece yeah. of hot dog on there, do the flaming Cheeto thing, definitely. And make that as an appetizer on a plate with the sauces and stuff like that. Maybe make them small and put a few out with a few different dips and really make it fun. I really think that you can take something that's very inexpensive, like a hot dog, and turning it into a really great guest experience. You could cut your hot dog up so it's they're smaller, like Bridget yeah. said, and then just have like little little ones on a plate to present it differently. Now, would you put the the Louis Vuitton golden bone on the menu? <laughs> It depends on the, the kind of restaurant. It's going to take some skill. We're in the back. 
to to uh, make these. You know what? First of all, thank you both. You guys rocked it again. Killed it again. I hope you guys enjoyed your Friday afternoon with us. Uh, also, the show's going to be on demand. And like I said, we're going to do some TikToks off of this. Richard, do you know that video that we shared with you yeah. has been seen 495,000 times already? Nicely done. Yeah. So it's so hopefully we can get up into those numbers. I'd with, like to see that. With yours. I think you can do it. I think we can do it. So what do you guys pay? Like uh, $2 a view or something like that? I'm just planning my retirement. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, friends, you know? yeah. It's exactly what we pay. Okay, good stuff. It's great. Anyway, <laughs> thank you both. You killed it again. Caleb, you came out on top once again. I think you definitely killed it today. And I think that that's good. I think that is yeah. a great recipe. Challenging. But. Well, people make crab cakes from, from scratch. They do. And this is a little bit more than the crab cakes. You have to address yeah. the bone yeah. thing. you got to find the gold yeah. foil. you got to go like rob all the baked potatoes. We're going to start a bone company of just selling chicken bones. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And foil. And, and foil. foil. <laughs> foil. Yeah. Your probably, order, you probably say, could. You probably foil. could. You know, they, like I swear that the last box of golden foil was sold in 1983. I know. Uh, and it's still used for those today. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's still in the kitchen. It's still in the kitchen. Yeah. With the saran box, saran We're room. Next to that box. beat up saran box. Exactly. <laughs> knife marks across it because nobody, <laughs> nobody <laughs> uses the little car. Like hello, I'll just slide that across. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Well, thank you both. You guys have a great day. Everyone else, this will be on demand on TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. Just, just Google SVK Media Network. We're everywhere. And a big shout out to our sponsors at Reuven at Lester's. They've dropped absolutely buckets of zero money on this. They've given us all the free time to do this. I love it. If it weren't for the great food, we definitely yeah, wouldn't have it. You know, to our sponsors, we love you. We are and, sponsors. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Awesome again. Well, thank you both, guys. Good have a great time. rest of your day. Everyone else, get out there and support our industry. Cheers. Take care.